Hello, you beautiful human beings. My name is Jennifer Carolina Lopez, and I want to welcome you to Genuine. As always, I just want to thank you all so much for constantly uh, messaging me and letting me know that the videos I post resonate with you and, and that you can relate and that you needed to hear that. You know, this is why I do what I do because uh, I want to be able to just help one person change the way that they see themselves, the way that they value themselves, you know, so if, if I can do that, I put putting out these, these small videos and I'm going to continue to do it because I am here to serve people and, and to serve um, people in the way that I know will help them because I feel like everyone has the potential to be great, you know, individually for themselves, but for also for other people. So, so thank you so much. Um, always for the constant support it it truly does mean a lot uh, today I wasn't really sure uh, whether I was going to record um, today's Sunday so I'm hoping to have this video out to you guys tomorrow Monday um, today someone who I love very much and hold close to my heart um, informed me that their father had passed away this afternoon and um, I had the honor and the privilege to meet this man and what an incredible loving man um, and I actually had the um, the opportunity to speak to him this morning um, before he passed which for me um, means so much uh, you know and I feel like God gave me that opportunity because he knew how much I prayed for this man for a miracle to recover and to be able to see him again, something I won't take for granted. Um, and and I'm God. I just am so in tune with God and and the upper, you know, the divine universe. And um, I've always said I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go to go see Dad again. I can't wait to go see him. Um, and. You know, I knew that there was obviously the chance that I may not get to, to see him again in person and hug him and hold him. Um, so the fact that God aligned that for me today to be able to, to look at him and, and smile at him and for him to have smiled back and to see me um, was everything, um, especially after hearing that he had passed. Um, you know, like I said, it's definitely something that I will not take for granted and I'll hold today um, forever. I am someone who, who believes in miracles and believes in prayer, um, you know, and sometimes you want to be mad at God and you try to question, like, why things happen the way that they do, uh, but they happen, right? Um, we're all born to die. We all have to die at some point and we don't know when our time is, right? So I think for me today, the most important thing to talk about is, you know, looking deep within yourself, looking deep within me and, and asking yourself and asking myself, am I living my life to its fullest potential? Am I happy? Am I doing the things that make me happy? Am I living every single day as if it were my last? And and if your answer was no, if your answer was like, wow, no, I'm not tr truly genuinely happy, what can you do to change that? Because you can make changes. Right now we're living in such a time that's very uncertain. You know, we don't know what's going on. Some people say this, some people say that, and there's just so much that as individuals, we're like, well, what's real? What's going on? Um, and so you really just gotta make the best of every day. You know, and, and that really all starts with yourself. Uh, if you really want to live a, a, an authentically happy life, then you have to be willing to make those changes. You have to deep, dig deep within yourself and ask yourself, what are the things that are preventing me to be happy? You know, there were so many things in my life that were preventing me to truly be happy and I had to make those changes because I wanted to be happy. As I mentioned, everyone has a right to genuinely, authentically feel real happiness within themselves. Do the things that scare you. They'll help you grow. 
They'll help you become such a better individual because you were brave enough to take those steps. And it doesn't matter what it is in your life that that is, whether it's leaving a relationship that doesn't serve you, whether it's leaving a job that no longer makes you happy. You know, uncertain times are scary. You don't know, uh, you know, what's to come when you make that change. But here's the thing, right? If you settle for all of that, then you won't know what's on the other side, right? Because you are capable of making so much happen if you believe in yourself. So if you know that you are going to become a stronger and better person by leaving a relationship, then do it. If it no longer serves you. If you know that you are worthy of so much more than the job you're in, then leave. Live out loud. You know, laugh out loud. Love out loud. You know, don't be afraid to love and, and to be loved and, and to live life joyously and, and live life, like I said, like every day could be your last. You know, when you get to an older age, you know, I know that when I get to whatever age God gets me to, I want to look back in my life and know that every single day I lived it in the way that I wanted to, by surrounding myself with people who I wanted to be there, by loving those who deserve to be loved by me, and letting those that want to love me, love me, you know, op op being open to receiving that love. Life is, is what you make it, you know, and, and if you sit there and and you don't make the changes that are going to better your life, that are going to allow you to live a happier life, then you're throwing away the one opportunity you have on this earth to be the best version of yourself. And, and that's really sad when you think about it. It really is. So do the things that make you happy change your life to be happier to feel happier whatever that means to you it's up to you to do that for yourself you know surround yourself by people who who are going to bring good to your life uh love to your life happiness to your life people who are going to help elevate you you shouldn't settle for anything less because you're worthy of that and so much more as always, I am sending all of you peace, love, and light into your homes, into to your family, to your friends, to whomever you surround yourself with. You know, the world needs more peace. There, there needs to be more love and so much more light. Uh, things feel so much better when you feel that way, when you feel at peace, when, you, when you're surrounded by love. Um, the world just looks better that way. And the only thing that I ask of you is, is to stay real, stay raw, and stay genuine. Make sure you, you subscribe, that you like, you share. You know, and as always, I am truly thankful for all of you. I love you very, very much. And I'll check back in with you guys another day. Peace.